Thank you, Junior Menominee Falls players, and welcome to week nine of Operation Football. It's the final week of the regular season. First off, Stephen Watson spent the night in the Woodland Conference. Stephanie, last night, Whitnell won the Woodland Conference Championship in double overtime. The rest of the crossover games with major implications when it coming to playoff seating. Just four years ago, New Berlin West finished at the bottom of the Woodland West. Now they finish off the year seven and one to lead the West Division. The First team defense only giving up one touchdown on the opening drive. And their backups come in. And South Milwaukee takes advantage. Tarek Slusar throws it up. A beauty to Emmett Lenz. Wow. The only problem, that cut it within 29 points, Steph. That's right. The Vikings scored 42 unanswered points in the first half. They didn't want to show off for me in the second. They wrap up a regular season with a 22-point win. Over in Brookfield, fans doing the jump around to stay warm as East battled Germantown in a greater Metro showdown. Third quarter, Spartans in front by seven. Quarterback Sam Gath can throw and he can run the nice scamper there. And that sets up this. The handoff to Donovan Hunt who hunts down another touchdown run. The Spartans finish the regular season on a high note with a 24-17 victory. Back to the Woodland Conference we go. Eisenhower and Greenfield squaring off in a crossover game of their own. Senior night at the Lions Den, so fitting that a senior makes a first big play of the night, and it's Matt Bauman who wins the jump ball. Fellow senior Eli Hokey doing his thing on the ground. He breaks through the seam and into the secondary for a 40-yard scamper, and it sets up the only touchdown of the first half. The incredible Hokey in from one yard out. And sticking with the theme, the seniors on defense making plays as well. Will Wendlick with the sack. His unit puts up the zero. Ike wins 21 to nothing. Menominee Falls fighting for first place in the Greater Metro Conference against a struggling Sussex Hamilton team. First quarter, Indians trailing and they tie it up. Tamar Thomas barrels his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Second quarter now falls down again, but they fight back. Quarterback Nate McLean looking clean there on the keeper. Indians miss the extra point and are down by one, but then the floodgates open in the second quarter. McLean this time hits Evan Redding, and Redding does the rest. A 50-plus yard touchdown connection falls, goes on to win big 46-17. to the game of the night coming down to McGuanago. Steve Brooks bringing his Wolverines into town for a classic eight showdown. Third quarter, we kick this one off. West trailing by one. Quarterback Brooks Blount finds Tyler Hug in the end zone for the score. That gives the visitors the lead. But we move into the fourth. Justin Peck throws a dime to Max Braun. Wide open. He does the rest. 52 yards to the end zone. And that ties the game at 28. This is a close call of the game that everybody's talking about. Peck going towards the end zone again. It looks like it's intercepted, but Braun takes it away and it would score the touchdown. So McGuanago leads again under 40 seconds to play Blount on the keeper. He goes six yards for the game winning touchdown in thrilling fashion. West beats McGuanago 38 to 34. And last night, the helmet game between Franklin and Oak Creek. First quarter, Sabres with the ball. Quarterback Miles Burkett can't find a receiver. So he takes it in himself. A 13-yard touchdown run. His seventh rushing touchdown of the season. Franklin in front, 7-0. Still first quarter. This time, Burkett throws it over the middle to Mitch Alba. And Alba, there he goes. A 61-yard touchdown catch. And the Sabres are up 14-zip. And they're not finished yet. Two more touchdowns in the first half, including this crazy one. Check it out. Burkett. Bounces off one receiver into the hands of another, and that is a touchdown. Franklin wins the helmet game and the Southeast Conference title 49-6. to